Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to answer which is the better EV stock to buy, Rivian versus Lucid. To answer that question I'm going to compare these two across five metrics and then answer which one is the better buy. So let's get right into it starting with revenue. Looking at this metric you can see Rivian is taking off much faster than Lucid is growing to revenues of 661 million in its most recent quarter and Lucid meanwhile experiencing a slowdown in terms of revenue delivering 149 million in its most recent quarter. Now the updates that we've gotten from Rivian and Lucid uh, that are not reflected in these figures just yet are that Rivian's second quarter of 2023 vehicle deliveries and production really ramped up from the first quarter almost doubling from the first quarter meanwhile lucid was sequentially relatively flat quarter over quarter lucid mentioning that right now they've got a demand problem they need to stoke customer demand they need to let people know about its amazing electric vehicle and in my opinion one of the best looking electric vehicles on the road today Meanwhile, Rivian is ramping up. It's, uh, it's pretty much in good balance in terms of supply and demand. Supply is growing. Demand is growing. It's really uh, hitting a good stride here in terms of production and, and demand. The next metric I wanted to compare these two on was their gross profit. And this is a highly, highly paid attention to metric in terms of the car speed car industry because you want to know how much does the company make on each car right that's gross profit it's the sales minus cost of goods sold and cost of goods sold is what it costs to make the car so how good are you at selling these cars at a profit making them lowering your costs of production and trying to sell them at the highest price possible for now these companies are not large enough to make a gross profit and what I mean by not large enough is they're not selling enough cars and thereby they're not utilizing enough of their capacity and so they're not generating profit so uh, gross profit so negative 351 million for lucid and negative 535 million for Rivian although Rivian is making very nice progress upwards in terms of this metric I wouldn't be surprised if in the next quarterly update which is going to come in a couple of weeks that Lucid makes, I'm, I'm sorry, Rivian makes even a bigger step upward on this metric. The next thing I wanted to look at is free cash flow. Since they're losing money, I want to see exactly how much. And Lucid, negative 1 billion in terms of free cash flow. Rivian, negative 1.8 billion. So they're both going through a lot of cash. And I've said many times on my channel, starting and ramping up a new car company is very expensive it takes a lot of capital and you're seeing that demonstrated in Rivian and Lucid so since they're going through so much cash I wanted to see how much cash they have on hand Rivian very comfortable with 11.2 billion in cash Lucid kind of treading it thin here with 900 million in cash but both Rivian and Lucid have powerful wealthy backers that can inject more capital if they need to or, you know, Rivian, in Rivian's case, it has tapped capital markets to raise more equity when it needed. And Lucid just uh, generated several hundred million dollars in a partnership with Aston Martin. So they've both done a good job in uh, managing capital and not um, diluting shareholders too much on their path to ramping up production. And finally, I wanted to compare these two on valuation. Lucid is trading at a forward price to sales of 4.675. Rivian selling at a forward price to sales of 3. So if I had to pick one of these EV stocks to buy now, I'd pick Rivian. Rivian. Rivian I would pick. Rivian has made better progress in terms of ramping up production to meet customer demand. Lucid, I feel a bit worried about customer demand for Lucid. Even though its cars are amazing, they are very expensive and it seems like they are prohibitively expensive and it's not stoking enough customer demand. So I want to wait on this one to see if they can really get that side of the equation right. In this comparison, I would go with Rivian. All right, so that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching.
I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.